morning students in this video class i will explain the traversal of a list traversal means moving from one end of linked list to another end of the linked list usually it is done by first node to last node and also here is by doing this i will display the values stored in the data fields of each node and depending on the direction of the starting and end of the nodes i will say it as left to right and right to left by convention displaying nodes from start to end of the list is considered as traversing from left to right start to end this is called left to right because while representing the linked list in diagrams we will start from the left side of the our nodes or representation where the first node starts and the rightmost end is the last node hence the name here is left to right similarly from end node to start node is considered as traversing from right to left so easily it is done on the single list that is left to right only whereas in the double linked list we can perform a reverse traversal reverse traverse means here is right to left in simple way the algorithm steps used to for traversing and displaying nodes from a list that is left to right so whenever i say traversing it is understood that traversing from left to right or first end to last node the steps begins from the comparing the value of start pointer if the start pointer is equals to null that means the list is an empty so stop the continuation of the execution of the program if it is not empty then assign the address of the start pointer which contains Uh, address contains the first node's address and store the address in temp pointer i will repeat the statement so whatever the information stored in the start pointer assign it to an another temp pointer now temp pointer points to first node from that display the data field of the temp pointer afterwards advance the temp pointer to next node by assigning next node's address that is taken from the next field of the same node then repeat the above steps until temp pointer's next points to null so this is simple logic go for the c code that is implemented to perform the traversing and displaying the information here is the traverse function you may give any name here is i have given it is the function name as traverse so in this function traverse i will declare one more temporary variable tam i will store the first node's address in start so now if start is equal to null i will print the message empty list if start is not equal to null that means list contain some nodes so now as we already stored the first node address in the temp i will move to the uh, traverse through the linked list by using while loop observe here is while temp is not equal to null i will display the value in data field from using currently stored address in temp afterwards temp field is advanced to next node so this is the process to display the value and this step is continued Till temp becomes null. 
when temp becomes null that means the next we have crossed the last node i can thoroughly temp next anta kottirteve last node aad nantra alli null irutte null is assigned to temp so afterwards so temp will becomes null so so the so the execution of while loop will terminates when the function is executed successfully on a given linked list it will print the value stored in the from first node to last node by traversing from one end to another end where it completes traversal and displaying the values of nodes using logic implemented in c language thank you